welcome to this video guys in this video we will design this table and we will assemble this robotic arm on this table so let's begin this right here is the robotic arm that is assembled and model i will provide the link of this robotic arm in description you can find how to model and how to assemble it let's open a part file because we are working in the part file make sure that you have selected the unit as mmgs click on top plane click on sketch and then select here center rectangle find this origin and make here a rectangle now select smart dimension specify the dimension of these the length of this table would be 2000 millimeter and the width of this let's specify 1500 let's change it to 1400 so 1400 by 2000 and then go to features select extruded boss and here specify the thickness of the top plate of the table 100 would be too much let's keep it 40 millimeter that looks fine and now let's specify the color of the top plate of the table so let me tell you from the start here you have to go into appearances and since I want some wooden appearance so in organic there would be option for the wood and here you can specify any color you like even you can specify steel or any other appearance as well this is optional stuff just to make it well in appearance so now select this plane select this uh, surface and click on sketch and here let's select this mid uh, point line because this work in both direction you can here either specify the center line as well now select this line and make it construction geometry make it construction geometry these lines would be converted into center lines and now select here corner rectangle and make here corner rectangle here i would like to make the legs of the table so now specify the length of uh, this as 140 millimeter and length of this line as 160 millimeter and since i want a thickness of 10 mm for the steel leg so i would use offset entities now select mirror entities because i want the legs on the other side so i would select this whole area you can either select one by one the lines and mirror about this line and that was the purpose of the center line guys that i have made at the start now i want to mirror these two add here so select the mirror entities select this whole area or you can select the lines one by one this is optional whatever you like and definitely mirror about this horizontal line and here we gonna have it and let's extrude it guys so go to features and select extruded boss space and here i want to specify the height of the table or the length of the legs here we have it if this appears in the other direction like this you can change the direction from here check this box from here and now let's further define it uh, just delete this appearance go to the appearance and uh, specify this as top surface now this looks fine now select this leg and click on sketch and here i want to make a corner rectangle from this point to this point and select smart dimension to specify the dimensions uh, only specify this like dimension 140 and make a center line because i want to mirror it here you can either mirror it or you can make the same sketch on the other side uh, other side this is optional i always prefer to mirror because this is quick 
so go to feature select extruded boss base and here since i want to extrude it up to the surface so i would like to select up to surface and up to this surface and i want to make one more thing select this surface and click on sketch here make a center line for the reference so find the midpoint make a center line here and here i have this midpoint this is the reference that i always gets from the center line length of this line 140 and i want to extrude it up to the surface and you know guys how to do it up to surface and which surface this one simply check this box from here so the table is ready and now i want to assemble the robotic arm with it so save this as table and now cross it you can either open the assembly file of this robotic arm and insert this table from here you have to figure out yeah this is the table open this is the table so i would intentionally orient it in wrong so so that i can show you how to orient it right by using the rotate command this is not moving guys but this is moving definitely why because right click here and make it as fix right click on this robotic arm and make it as float now it will float and table would be fixed hope it makes sense now select this surface click on mate as this surface is selected now i want to put it on the table surface so i will select the table surface and it's assembled on the table surface the uh, all the degree of freedom is not locked which means that the robot can still move but i want to get it fixed so select mate go to advanced mate and this is the width mate if anything other is selected just select and delete it select this surface rotate it select the other surface and let me show these two surfaces has been selected in the upper window and in the lower window let me zoom in and out just to show you this uh, surface of the table and this surface of the table check this box from here and now let me show you this is moving in this direction but not on the other direction so one degree of freedom is locked and i want to lock the other degree of freedom as well i would use the same advanced width mate so go to advanced and select this width mate definitely here we're gonna have two windows select this surface of the base of the robotic arm and this one let me show you one more time these two surfaces has been selected on this window in the other window i want to select this surface of the table and the opposite surface of the table the width mate is a great tool in solidworks if you learn the width mate it will make your assembly file life much more easier so that's all for this video guys in which i have explained how to model the table and how to uh, assemble this robotic arm with the table thanks for watching see you in the next video